Live from the O2, yes, it's the upside down walk here in London. It's a Saturday night and we were delighted to be invited to the O2 to see one of the biggest stars in the world. The Osmonds took the world by storm, but they were the biggest here in the UK. For 18 months, they've not been able to perform and Meryl Osmond uh, is back doing a show. He's had to go through all the rigmarole of sticking things up his nose and the back of his throat. And after five days in that speedy thing where they can come across, he is the first American star to perform on a British stage. And we were there uh, to see it too tonight, which was just an extraordinary event, incredible light and sound, and a five-star star, star. Uh, a family that have worked their entire lives. I mean, never not been famous, and yet for 18 months I've had to sit there staring at the wall. Not a very nice existence for anybody, but uh, most frustrating for those who normally get a warm hand on their opening. Enjoy my backstage exclusive interview with Meryl Osmond here at the O2. Live from the O2, this is the Voice of Reason. 311,000 subscribers, and we're celebrating our first birthday today with an old friend. Meryl Osmond, how are you? Oh my goodness, it's so good to see you. I'm doing good. I mean, compared, I guess, to a lot of people, I'm, I'm never biased. <laughs> What's your year been like? Well, or should I say 18 months? You're the first star from America to stand on the British stage. This is incredible. You know, first of all, I'm tired of gardening. Uh, mowing the lawn is not good. And, you know, I'm trying to clean the carpets. That's not been good. But no, actually, you know, I've, had a, I've been writing and painting and, and trying to keep busy as best as I can, but it's been unique for all of us. Well, you've never not been a star, have you? You can't remember a time when you didn't get a round of applause and you didn't get a standing ovation and suddenly for 18 months it's just you and the stains on the carpet. <laughs> I know. And like I was saying, saying earlier, in a show like this, bless their hearts, they can't, they can't take their masks off. And so you're not hearing the screams and the singing along. You're just seeing a lot of people with masks. And so that's, but you know what, I'm glad I'm here. I love the people here. I love being here as we have for what, how many years, I don't know. You know, this is my 64th year in the entertainment industry. And for 64 years you've been so busy you've never seen your family so this must be new as well for the last year getting to to meet them again i mean my wife i mean <laughs> I, I, I didn't realize it she was so nice that's right <laughs> <laughs> and not having to stay in hotels that must have been nice i mean there are upsides you, you know, know those, those don't... caesar salads can get old can't you? You get old but but i've had a blast and, and all the siblings have we've stayed in touch with each other and everybody is doing fine and Little Jimmy, bless his heart, I was, I was talking to him the other day. He's doing better every day. Good. And, uh, but yeah, it's been it's been fascinating. It's an incredible journey for an Osmond to be around still this long. How nervous are you tonight walking out and suddenly the pin focus is there again and you've got to perform? Well, it's, ta it's nervous. You know, we're all nervous. Anybody that is in the business that understands something about pacing and, you know, it's difficult. Like you're talking about the comedians. Could you imagine throwing a one-liner out there and not getting any back? But in this showcase tonight, knowing that, we'll just keep the show moving, keep the show moving. Asking a, a question and getting an answer back isn't going to happen. Uh, but at the beginning, I'm gonna, when they throw it live to the world, I'm going to share a few little things specifically to my family, siblings, because they're, you know, not all of them are performing anymore, uh, and, uh, but they're watching tonight. So I'll pay tribute to the, to the guys. And again, as you walk out there, the warmth from the audience doesn't change, and you're one of the uh, most legendary of the living rock stars. There aren't many left, are there, that can walk out and bring rock music to a live audience. It must be thrilling to be back, to know that you're still here to do it, because a lot aren't. You know, it's, it's humbling when you say that, because it's, it's true. And, you know, the, the, the feedback we're getting from around the world on this thing tonight 
is somewhat humbling because we're talking in Japan, we're talking about, you know, all Australia and Japan, they're all linking up tonight. So it's going to be like a huge family around the world that have bought into your music and the things that you've done throughout your lifetime. So I'm grateful. I am. We can't wait to see the show. Thank you for inviting me and uh, we love you very much. It's great to have you back. It's good to be back and it's always good to see you.